Uh, retail sales jumped by close to 18 percent on year in May as more travelers arrived. Uh, the growth expands on the previous month, 12 percent increase. And Singstat says retailers are recovering from the low base over the same period last year when movement and travel restrictions were in place. Most sectors also grew month on month, but at a more modest pace. Well, the wearing apparel and footwear industry led the surge in sales, with takings nearly doubling from a year ago. Department stores posted a more than 70% growth, while sales of watches and jewellery expanded by more than 60%. Sales at supermarkets and minimarts fell by more than 10%, amid lower demand for groceries compared to a year ago when more people stayed home. Overall, if you look at the, the economic uh, recovery for Singapore, we've had quite a relatively tight labour market, which meant that there is uh, some disposable income for local residents to, to spend on. So I think that's what helping to propel retail sales in Singapore for now. In the FMB space, sales grew 40% on year compared to about 12% the month before. This was at also attributed to the low base last year when dine-in restrictions were placed. Uh, caterers posted the highest numbers. The sector doubled its growth with a return of large-scale events and in-flight catering. Economists expect the positive momentum in the overall retail market to continue but taper off as normalcy returns. Going forward, we still expect retail sales growth to be relatively healthy, uh, anchored by demand for discretionary items as uh, the activity levels uh, normalize and Singaporeans uh, and local residents start to spend in items that they were unable to over the past few years. Uh, however, I think there's also a lot of uh, competition for, for spending on services and on travel. So that may curtail and taper the, the growth by the end of the year.